Recently, television viewers began to see a new advertising campaign that featured a mysterious man who pops up in the oddest places. Yet this magical character is based on a real person, a man named Yutaka Katayama, known to his friends as Mr. K. Mr. K came to the United States in 1960 to take the reins of a small car company called Datsun. He worked hard to build his company by designing vehicles people would truly enjoy. And by the time he retired, he had made a lasting impression on the American road. We'd like to tell you a little more about the man who truly embodies the soul of our company. Flying kite is so interesting because in the air, there's nothing. But still, you can talk with the air with a kite. I like mountains uh, very much. Well, Mr. K's golfing abilities were legendary. I like a painting. Oh, I sure did have to cover for him when he had to be at a meeting. Politics. Uh, really, I don't like it. Thank you for that. <laughs> he made a lasting impression on my parents. Mr. K is an excellent watercolorist. Oh, yeah. Car is everything. <laughs> Car, I like. Mr. K liked to eat. <laughs> he loved to eat. Anything tasty and good thing, I'm always hungry for. Las Vegas, he loved. I didn't play uh, baseball. I played uh, soccer. Mr. K's original painting of Grindelwald, Switzerland. He was a bourbon man. He had the ability to know everybody. Too many lawyers in the United States. I didn't get to dance with him much, but he was a real good dancer. Oh, yes. He had a, an amazing Christmas card list. Well, his list, when he left, the company was up over 20,000, and he always personally signed his own. My life is uh, maybe based on the automobile. Uh, in Japan, I made a lot of friends, Motaka friends. And in here, I have a lot of friends through the Motaka. There was a different kind of chemistry with this business than it was with the rest of the automobile industry. And trying to figure out why, the company was small, I think we sold about 46,000 cars that year in the whole country. But there was something about the leader. There was something about the way people felt about who the head of the company was. I wanted to come to Nissan. And I liked the car. I didn't know at that time what kind of car was coming, but, you know, I was dreaming about oh, it must be a good car coming. So that uh, directly after my graduation from school, I joined the company. I wanted to come to the United States because I wanted to know how America is uh, changing. So many things are different from Japan, but uh, everything was new and uh, it was uh, fun to find out new things. I commissioned to come over here to study the market. Only studying is nothing, you know not only selling car itself, but we have to sell uh, activity of the car. For that, I couldn't go back home only studying the market. So I started Nissan uh, Motor Company in the United States. No one could have foreseen the polished, big, sophisticated Nissan of today Looking back just a few, like 30 years, it's almost inconceivable that that much change could have taken place. I was going around the city, uh, try to explain our car by myself. Almost all people didn't listen to me. So I had to go to the used car dealer, where outside of the city. Well, those people very much interested in uh, our new uh, cars. So they, uh, my business started from the used car dealers. You know, you have to understand Nissan was coming into the market at the same time that Toyota was. Honda was far behind us. But I think if he hadn't been there through his leadership, Nissan would never have expanded as rapidly as requ was required then. At the beginning, it was so difficult to, to, uh, to bring in the car to the American people because American people didn't uh, recognize what Japan makes, you know, so that uh, I was trying to 
promote the idea of what we had. So that uh, at the beginning, I, uh, I tried to sell more of the pickup trucks. The small pickup truck was, came from Nissan before it came from anybody else. The King Cab, uh, he pioneered that. So in addition to, I know a lot of people talk about the Z, he really pioneered the small pickup truck. The 510 was incredible, and so much so that he got me dragged into it because I, we raced one. And we raced in a class against BMWs, which were, were far more expensive, far more technologically orientated in the minds of people, but not necessarily so because we kept beating them. The sports cars, the, the sports sedans, where did that come from? Would Nissan have ever built those if it weren't for his insight and into his feeling? I don't think so. When I was in the United States, I wanted to make a flagship for our uh, business, you know. I asked the designer to build the Z car uh, uh, for the sports car. His personal pride and joy was bringing the sports car to the USA. The Z was the, uh, the pillar of the, of the entire franchise. Anybody that thought of Datsun thought of the Z. The 240Z obviously made the franchise. It took it from one level and brought it right up to another whole level. And really, that was his baby. He designed that car, he, he put the spirit behind that car, he created it. Even to this day, here we are, what, 26 years later, that car is still his first love. Any car can be a sports car, because a sports car is depend on who drives in his mind. Mr. K is a good driver, but he's a very fast driver. Oh yes, I like uh, making a speed, but uh, several times I had a ticket. I got to know him pretty well. Seemed we talked to just about every day. Yes, they had a special relationship. Mr. K had a different idea what the speed limit should be than the state. I wouldn't even turn on the siren. I would just pull up behind him, flash my lights, he'd pull over. I just uh, tried to demonstrate for them. Pulled him over once. He was wearing a a complete Western outfit. I've seen him in a suit with cowboy boots. Um, the hat, the boots. Belt buckle. It uh, was pretty gaudy all in all. I made a good friend with them. <laughs> yes. Kite is a very funny thing. There are a lot of big kite and small kite, but even small kite in a pocket of kite, you can carry them and if you go to mountain or seashore, you can fry it. It fries in the air, but you can feel the air and the wind. You can talk with the nature through the string. That is a fun by myself. I enjoy so much, and this is a good pastime for me. He gave us little plaques that were, had Japanese symbols on them, and those symbols basically said truth and honesty. Uh, that didn't exist in the automobile business in those days. He was almost treated like royalty. Um, and not because we were told to, but that's the way we felt. Almost 20 years since I retired, and still people are enjoying Zika. That is a great thing for me, too. He was the easiest man to talk to I've ever met. He treats people as equals. He treats the smallest employed person, the guy in the parking lot, he'll look him dead in the eye and say thank you. He'll say the same thing to the President of the United States. No one ever forgot him because of his sincerity and caring for people. He's Mr. K. Come back to the first uh, beginning and think of the how we start the business here. However it becomes bigger, still need a spirit of the beginning so that uh, I hope people will think about the beginning, always beginning. Every day is new beginning day. There's more to life than just the business. There's the other things that uh, are out there. The trust and respect that I had for him is, is, is as much as, as respect as you could have for anybody. Well, there, there are three men in my life that have had an impact on me. My father, of course, my high school football coach, and Mr. Kariyama. Love people, love cars, love life. That is a very important three items, but uh, all together based on the love, you know, so that uh, we can enjoy our life. So let's enjoy together. <laughs>